Hey guys, Ms. Wallace here, along with my two very sleepy dogs, that's Daisy and Charlie in the background. They're going to do some art with us today. So what we're going to talk about today, kiddos, is a cylinder. And a cylinder is a three-dimensional shape. Right here I've got a glue stick, um, and my glue stick is kind of a small cylinder, versus like my cup here, um, it's a bigger cylinder. Um, our world is full of cylinders. And one thing that I noticed that I love is cake. And I noticed that a lot of cakes, when they make cakes, they're cylinder shapes. So today, I'm gonna show you guys how to draw a cake using a cylinder. So let's get started. All you need is a paper and a pencil and just something to color with, whether that's crayons, markers, whatever you have. All right, here we go, let's get started. Before we get started, I wanted to show you some images that I created of some different kinds of cakes. Now for this project, you do get to pick. You can pick to do a three-tiered cake. A three-tiered cake kind of looks like a wedding cake, but it doesn't have to be a wedding cake. But three tiered means one, two, three layers of cake. And it usually starts from biggest to smallest, almost like when you build a snowman. And you'll notice that each one of my tiers, they're what shape? A cylinder, good job. So this is the one that I was working on. I'm not done with it yet, I just kind of sketched it out. Um, but if you feel like maybe that might be too much and you're not necessarily looking to do three um, tiered cakes, then you can just stick with doing a one tiered cake and just focus on that one cake and do a really good job just on that one. So I'm going to go ahead and get started. I'm going to get my paper and my pencil to start me off. I'm actually going to start um, with my top tier of my cake and I'm going to be drawing the base of the cylinder. Now I told you guys that the base of a cylinder is in fact a circle. However, because we're going to be looking at our cake from um, on not above it like a bird like this, we're going to be looking at it from the side, what happens is all of a sudden the circle now looks more oval, okay? So um, we're not doing bird's eye view, we're looking at it kind of straight on as if it's sitting on the counter and we're just about to dive into it with our teeth because it looks so delicious. All right, so I'm going to start at the top. This is my smallest tier, so I'm going to make sure not to make my oval too big. Okay, but I don't want it too small either um, because then it would be teeny tiny, right? All right, I've got my oval. After you draw your oval, you're going to make a line that comes down on this side and this side. And I realize that ovals don't have sides, but we're just going to pretend that it does, okay? Now, we could draw the other oval down here to make it look like a complete cylinder. But since we're making a cake, we're going to kind of skip some of the parts of the oval. What we are gonna focus though, is we're gonna make the same kind of curved line that we see at the top of the oval here, down here. We don't wanna make a straight line. This should just be the same curve that you see here. It should copy it, like that. And that is how you can create that cylinder look, okay? So, this is my first tier cake. Um, remember, it's the top tier of my cake because I'm doing three. Right. So the next one, the next layer, I'm going to draw another oval and it's going to be bigger, but I'm actually going to start it on the side of this cake down towards the bottom. Okay, and it's going to go around and it's going to touch the other side. This one's going to be a little bit bigger. It's not my biggest cake, but it is bigger. I am drawing lightly. I always say draw light until you get it right. Same, putting my lines down from the side. All right, that's looking great so far. So now I have one, two, I'm working on that third one. But before I do that, I need to add my curve right here to complete that cylinder. All right, so here goes my next and my last oval. This is my last cake that I'm drawing. Again, putting the lines down. And then rounding it 
off the bottom just like it is at the top. And now I have my three tiers. I kind of noticed that some of my ovals look a little different from each other. Some of them are really squished and some of them are a little bit bigger. Um, and so I'm going to just try to go in and see if I can't even those up just a little bit. Now remember if you're doing the one tiered cake, what you would have done is put your paper sideways this way and you would have done the biggest cake that you could on your paper. So you would have started off with a really big oval and then come down and curve the bottom. And that's how you would have done your cake if you were doing just the one tiered cake. Alright guys, so at this point you get to start decorating your cake however you want to. Um, in the past when I've done this lesson, I've told the kids that they could even pick a theme. If you want to do a theme, you're more than welcome to do a theme. Um, if you want to try to just keep it simple though and do something where it's just more decorated, where you get to kind of pick the different pieces, then you can. Um, I looked at pictures on the internet before I started this project and that's how I came up with all these images. Um, the best advice my art teacher in high school ever told me was to draw from observation. So if you can find the, an actual picture to help you, then you'll be more successful with your artwork. Okay, so I've decided that on the very top tier of my cake, I really love my pink cake over here. It's kind of fancy, um, and so I, I just like the designs that I did. So I'm going to be drawing those designs on my top cake. So be happy with the way that that turned out. Now I'm going to work on the second tier of my cake and for this one I actually am going to do this one. This is one of my favorites because it has spiral lines and Miss Willis loves some spiral lines. Alright kids, so I'm pretty happy with what I have. Um, I could always go in and add a little extra detail um, just to make it a little bit more interesting, have more design, um, and then after I get done doing that, I'm going to go in and for me, I, I love using Sharpie. Those of y'all that know me, Miss Wells loves Sharpie. So I'm going to trace everything I have with a Sharpie before I start adding my color. And today I'm actually going to be coloring with colored pencils.
All right, kiddos, next I'm going to color. All right, kiddos, so I just finished my cake. Um, Y'all might have noticed that I added a little bit of my black colored pencil on the edges of my cylinders, on the edges of my cake, on both sides. I did that because I was trying to create what we've talked about before, value. Value is the lightness or darkness of a color. So I know that sometimes when you're making 3D shapes, it's good to add a little bit of value on the, on the form itself, like the cylinder, to kind of create a shadow or make it look darker as it curves around. So I created that on the edges. I just went over it with my black colored pencil, not too hard. And um, I did go from really dark, a little bit lighter, a little bit lighter, a little bit lighter, and then didn't do any in the center of my cake. And as you, if you look at it, you can kind of see it kind of looks as if the light is hitting this right in the middle, a little bit brighter than the edges. I hope you guys had fun and enjoyed your making your cake, um, whether you made a three-tier cake or a one-tier. Um, but be sure to show me your pictures. Post it to the Ponder Art Museum on your Canvas page. Um, and I can't wait to see your pictures. Bye, guys.